Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913. We're let's playing Dragon Quest 7. Last episode, we were just talking with all the well wishers, trying to get out of here so we can go take on the mech soldiers. That and with our with our little troop we have here of Zeba Uri, the robot, and uh, Trad, uh, Zebot's older brother. Uri was some lady. I don't know who. She was someone who Zebot must have loved. She ended up dying, and I don't know. But yeah, forks are pretty ugly, but not as ugly as them machines. So who did we miss? Oh, okay. We'll go first, and they'll meet us in Falrish. No problem. These guys are easy. I don't know why you're having so much trouble. I keep saying that. Oh man, they have totally wiped the floor with this place. So basically what we have to do is find out where the captain is. Yeah, he can because he's awesome. He did it. But Zebot is still kind of a jerk. So basically, to continue the sequence, keep keep it moving. Oh wow, there's a coffin here. It's not like the coffins we use when when our characters die. So, anyways, to continue the sequence, we have to go into the barracks or whatever this place is, and we have to see the captain. Yeah, so basically you just see the captain, and now we can head to the en enemy's hideout. The enemy territory. So let's go there. As you can see, there's a wall, there's a whole row of s enemies that have totally beaten the crap out of this poor town. The Terminators have totally terminated their targets. Wow, say that five times fast. Anyways, uh, now we're here back at the base, or the mech soldier's base, and we're gonna check this place out. Oh, here's this guy again, come on. Oh, they got even more guys there, jeez. They do have a lot of guys there. Yeah, you can't make a move because you guys are totally weak. Oh, here's Trad and Zebot and Uri. Exactly, we got here before you because we're faster than you. And you guys have to take some mechanic guy with you. Yay, we're going to bring victory to the... to Falrod and Falrish. The Kingdom of Foul. Yes, I am totally ready. Let's do this. I've been waiting for some fighting for a long time. He said, Say goodbye to your loved ones. What for? Commence the attack. Is the signal working? Yeah, they're going berserk on each other. Let's continue into their lair. Yeah, so let's, uh... Oh, that's not nice. Nice job, Zebot. And Uri as well. So let's head into, uh... Well, just look at all these soldiers going crazy. So let's head into... to the center of the cave. And look, of course, their hideout is all mechanical eyes and stuff. Uh-oh. When you attack these, or when you talk to some of these monsters, uh, some of the blue guys in here, you'll have to fight them. Oh, here's some new enemies. Baby Gargoyle. Or Baby Goyle, whatever. You know what the hell I mean. And they're pretty easy, but they can attack. They can cast ice bolt on you. And of 
course, you're gonna be finding a lot of clock mechs while you're in here as well. Yeah, but nothing too difficult. It's just if you get a couple of them and they all cast Ice Bolt, it can be a pain. I'm not even gonna bother talking to that guy. And look at that, we got elevators. That's pretty cool. So, let's go up here first and get some treasure. Treasure is good. Oh. Oh no. Our first man eating chest of the game. I think it's a man eating chest. Or mimic or whatever. And they cast a pretty powerful uh, spell called Fireball. This is actually the last time this game. Uh, that these spells will actually be called what they're called. From the old game. In Dragon Quest VIII, they're, they have a whole new. Uh, Set of names. Oh, look at that. Gabo went up another level. Yay! And as you can see, Gabo's starting to gain some MP. So eventually he will be able to use spells. But so far, uh, Kiefer hasn't learned any... hasn't gained any MP. So let's continue down here, where you have to talk to this me um robot to make these this elevator go down otherwise it wouldn't go down and uh, here let's talk to it oh, nothing there all right let's check the treasure chest nice an iron shield and a strength seed yeah let's give that to Kenshin because Gabo has a good weapon so he's pretty strong and let's equip this on Kenshin. Alright, and all this extra stuff I'm going to end up selling eventually. To get more money for the next area. Where we'll have to buy more stuff. Although it seems like the all the stuff in this game is pretty expensive. Like, just from the back, too. Like, like right off the bat. It seems pretty expensive. So let's, let's, let's fight our way in here. Bye bye, robots. Anyways, now we're in the center chamber where the boss is. The leader of the robots. And let's just. Alright, we got a fire shard. Cool. A hundred gold, very nice. Oh, here's a new enemy, a Hork. These guys are classic game uh, Dragon Quest monsters. From Dragon Quest 2. The Horks actually have a quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of HP, plus they can, I believe they can poison you with that barf attack they just did. So, yeah. I don't think there's anything else over here. Okay, let's uh, let's go up here. But first, let's heal up. We'll have Mary Bell use uh, oh, here's an. I don't know why I kept this battle in here, but whatever. Nothing hard. These guys are easy. Uh, you don't have to be as high level as I am. As long as you're on level 12, you should be totally fine with this boss. But let's... let's oh, that's not working. But before we take a couple more steps, let's heal up with Maribel. Oh, darn it. I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. Back. Make sure to heal up, not use outside this time. Uh, I can't believe that happened. Anyways, let's heal up. And fight the boss. Yeah, we were. We're totally. You, these guys are nothing. 
these guys are nothing. And now we take on three mech soldiers and kill them. Take that, boss. Ha! But can we beat this boss? We'll have to find out later. Bye bye